This is a quick video tutorial on how to program the Hunter SRC irrigation controller. This is a very popular model as it was easy to install, easy to program, and easy to maintain as an irrigation controller. And what we'll do is start going through the programming and just kind of go around the dial. When it's in the run position, it will run based on the times that we program into it. It also has a feature where the irrigation system will run and bypass the rain sensor if there is a rain sensor installed. But basically what we'll do is we'll start with current date and current time. It starts with the year that ever comes out. You've got the plus and the minus. The next ultimately goes to the month, same thing, plus and minus. And then ultimately we'll go to the day, same thing, plus and minus. We'll hit next. What it's gonna do is first ask you AM or PM, and right now we've got it set at AM. Next, we're gonna set the hour. And then finally, the minute. Same thing, if it ever comes out of adjustment, plus and minus. The next thing we're gonna do is set watering start times. Now this controller comes with basically three different programs, A, B, and C, up to four start times per program. Now, what we're gonna do is set the base. We're gonna have it come on at two o'clock in the morning and put a little bit of time on just a couple of the zones. So what we'll do is set watering start time. We'll put that down to 2 a.m. And then ultimately what we just gotta do is make sure there is no other times on any of the other, uh, any other, the other start times on program A. The next thing is set station run time. So what we'll do is we'll just put a 10 minutes on the first, uh, the first couple zones here. Um, so zone one is set for 10 minutes, zone two is set for 10 minutes, and then let's put 12 minutes on zone three, and we'll put 12 minutes on zone four, and so on. Um, but what we're doing is we're setting that base. We want it to come on at two o'clock in the morning and a certain amount of time on each zone, and then be able to adjust it up and down throughout the year as watering necessary. Basically, the next thing on the dial is set days to water. Right now, we've got every day turned on. If, for example, you ever want to turn a day off, we'll say Monday. Let's go next, which will get us to Monday. We'll hit the minus. What that'll do is remove that arrow from above that day and then basically no longer water on that day. So right now, we've got every day turned on other than um, Monday. We'll call that our, our mowing day for the lawn. It also comes with a feature for odd or even watering. What we would do is advance over to that and then we could ultimately go even or odd um, if for some reason there are watering restrictions in effect. The next option is for manual watering. We've got basically if we wanted to water one zone, what we would do is ultimately go on here, we'll pick zone one and we'll go up to run. And what it's gonna do is you'll see that little arrow come up on the side saying it's running and zone one is currently active. Now, to disengage that, you'll go to system off, let it sit for about two seconds, and the irrigation system will turn off. The next one is manual all stations. This allows you to run through all the zones that you currently have time on them. Same thing, you go to that particular section here, so manual all stations, we'll go back up to run. It's gonna start with zone one, or the first zone that you have time on. The nice part about this is if you hit the next button, you can advance to zone two and three and so on, all the zones that you currently have time on. So this is a very easy controller to program. Um, once we're done, we'll just leave it in the off position at this time. Um, this particular model comes with nine different um, zones or the ability to put nine different zones into, uh, into your system. But it's a very easy uh, controller to, to program. Um, thanks for watching.